G'day guys, Jones here. This is just a quick video on how to install one of our Armour 3 add-ons called Task Force Radio. Uh, now Task Force Radio is one of the most important mods we have in our Milsim collection as it actually incorporates TeamSpeak with Armour 3 to create a far more believable and immersive military simulation by incorporating proximity chat as well as push-to-talk radios. Uh, now unfortunately out of our entire collection Task Force Radio is actually the only mod that won't fully download and install itself upon subscribing to the Flying Monkeys in Space Milsim collection through Play With 6. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is make sure you have it selected and downloaded. Uh, and then after that, simply head to wherever you have your mods installed uh, or your modification directory. What you're looking for is the folder that says at Task Force Radio. Simply head inside there. What you're looking for is these two folders, the user config folder and the TeamSpeak 3 client. Now what you want to do first of all is copy the user config folder. Don't delete it or cut it, uh, just make sure you copy it. And then what you want to do is paste that in your Armour 3 directory, typically found under Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armour 3. Now chances are you already have a user config folder, that's okay, it will simply paste the files that are inside the directory without deleting anything else inside it. Now what you want to do is double check to make sure there's a Task Force Radio folder with this radio settings.hpp file. Uh, this folder here will appear after a while after you've used the, um, the add-on, uh, so don't worry about that, that's not uh, included in the installation. Uh, after that, simply head back to the, uh, your mod directory, and what you're looking for is the TeamSpeak 3 client folder. Again, simply copy it, don't delete it or cut it. Actually, no, don't. You want to go inside it, and what you're looking for is the plugins folder. So what you want to do is copy that, don't cut it or delete it, uh, just simply grab that one and then what you want to do is head to your TeamSpeak 3 client and simply paste it here. Now chances are, just like the Armour 3 folder, you probably already have a plugins folder. Uh, now that's okay, again paste it over top of what's originally there uh, and what going aside, what you're looking for is the radio sounds, the radio sounds new, radio sounds old and these two Win32 and Win64 DLL files. Uh, now, provided they are all in there, um, that's installed through uh, TeamSpeak. Uh, now, what you want to do is now open TeamSpeak. Uh, if you already had it open, please restart it. Uh, but once you've got it open, simply go to Settings and go Plugins. Now, again, provided you open this after you copied over the TeamSpeak 3 files, you should have a Task Force Armour 3 radio file uh, selection here. Simply tick it, click Close. Uh, now, now it should be incorporated with TeamSpeak. To double check, simply click on your name and you should see Task Force Radio status uh, with the current build which is 0.9.7. Uh, now of course if this video gets older there might be updated versions. Anyway, double check to make sure it's connected and play and these will turn to Ys uh, when you're playing the game. Uh, other than that, that's basically the installation. Uh, now if you have any issues, uh, Play With 6 doesn't, hasn't downloaded the correct files or their own odd folders, you can either rename them or if you have any issues, uh, any major issues, simply click on the Armour 3 uh, chat room on the play, play, uh, Flying Monkeys in Space uh, chat room and click on the Armour 3 mod list. I will also include a link to our mod list in the description of the video. Uh, then once, once you click on this, you will open up the uh, resources list. What you can do is then go to Task Force Radio and you're looking for this link here and simply go to the original um, creator's website and you can download the file manually. Now again, this is only if there's any issues with Play With 6. Now then you'll be given a zip folder. Simply open that and you'll see inside the 0.9.7 folder, you'll see the TeamSpeak 3 client that we used before with the plugins and the DLLs. And you'll see, uh, don't worry about this plugins for old TeamSpeak, that's a uh, irrelevant folder. Then going into Armour 3, you'll see the user config that you need to put in your Armour 3 directory and the at Task Force Radio folder that you need to put in your mods directory. Uh, now the download from the creator's website also includes CBA3. You shouldn't need that as it is actually included in It is actually included in the uh, Flying Monkeys in Space Milsim collection on Play With 6. 
Uh, other than that, guys, that's about it, really. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave any comments uh, or um, let me know in TeamSpeak.